Well, we're still going to be tracking critical fire weather conditions again today across the central and southern plains. Severe weather threats may be popping up over the next few days as well, along with some milder temperatures. So yesterday, we topped out at 80 in Amarillo, 81 in Lubbock. We also had some pretty windy conditions, but even some mid-70s there for Wichita and Kansas City. That's where temperatures were almost 20 degrees above average. Still some uh, slightly cooler temperatures down in San Antonio and New Orleans. But again, with all this warm and uh, windy weather, we have critical fire weather conditions. Red flag warnings have been posted across a number of locations here from southeastern Colorado to eastern New Mexico and even as far east as uh, Oklahoma and Tulsa. Winds will be gusting up close to 40 plus miles per hour. Lubbock, Amarillo and uh, Wichita. So again warm, dry and breezy weather allowing our uh, fire weather conditions to remain elevated even tomorrow uh, across parts of uh, far western Texas. And then on the eastern side of this particular storm system, marginal risk of severe weather today. Dallas, the Arklatex region under a marginal threat of severe weather on Saturday, and then really keeping an eye on uh, Sunday's weather, already a slight risk of severe weather. So little impulse of energy, taking out some showers and storms later on this afternoon, warm, dry, and breezy across the central and southern plains. And as I mentioned, kind of continuing to watch the thunder threat as we head into the latter half of the weekend. Total amounts of liquid, maybe a quarter to a half inch, could see some one-inch tallies, though in the lower Mississippi Valley, but another mild day on tap here for this Friday.